Hello everyone and welcome back to Cross Story 2. This is a Taku Showboat. If you have been enjoying this series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. You can, of course, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Otaku Showboat, as well as support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Otaku Showboat if you are so inclined and able. Last time we met, I got through the basic oil processing and got petroleum gas on my train network. That That is what I did last time. I have added a couple of additional trains, so I now have three for all of this, and I have expanded a bit my oil refinery setup. I have doubled, tripled, tripled the amount of stuff, went from 10 now to 30 uh, of my oil processors, all with steel pipe. Off screen, between last time and this time, I have done some additional expansion. Uh, in particular, I have added trains onto my iron plate processing. I have finished this iron plate processing. They're loading onto trains a whole heck of a lot of iron plates. Similarly with copper, loading a whole heck of a lot of copper plates. It's all getting done in here. All the smelting and casting, it's pretty glorious. And over here, I've got stone bricks and glass being made uh, right here. I don't anticipate needing a lot more stone bricks, but I will definitely be needing more glass over time, and there's uh, enough room for some amount of scaling. I am a little bit limited on my throughput for the moment until I get access to faster loaders and potentially robots. Uh, I'm thinking that as we scale with time, eventually I'm going to be forced to shove, with the fastest loaders I have, stuff into provider chests and have obscene number of robots, obscene numbers of robots uh, delivering to the various lines, uh, and then from the ends of the various lines to the uh, loading station. So that's how we will progress there, and that's uh, that there. Uh, and I have set up green circuits. The greenest, the greenest of green circuits, I have actually named them the green circuit line. They're electronic circuits, but they're, they're green. They're green. They're, they're green circuits. It just needed a 15 per second of wood as well as 30 per second of copper and 15 of iron to make 30 per second of the uh, green circuits. And yeah, that's, that's a red belt. A red belt's throughput uh, is currently filling up my warehouse, set of warehouses through the bulk rail loaders, and I have a train on that mission. I decided to do this off screen just because we have already seen this type of a setup before I have I have done it already it's just more of it so why should we watch me building out simply more of a thing that I've already done so from here I have also added a bunch of additional train station areas I have four pre-built uh, to go into the day today as well as the ghosts of a fifth one right up there. What do we need to get done going forward? I need to progress into uh, some blue science, at least, if if not also get into like mill science, although that's very low on my priority list at the moment. I really need to get into uh, some chemical science. It is not lost on me, though, that I in the process of getting into chemical science, we'll, I will be able to start making module ones uh, for the speed, productivity, and efficiency modules. My issue with that is I, mu I would much rather wait until having level three modules uh, overall. The only one that's of use before level three is the, effect the efficiency module, 
uh, because that one is an even negative 40%, uh, which means that two of these cap the power reduction on buildings, uh, which is negative 80. You cannot go beyond negative 80% reduction to uh, power draw on buildings uh, in Factorio. So the level 2 is pretty good here, and the level 2 productivity is significantly better than the level 1. Uh, like the level 1, you've got minus 15% speed, plus 40% energy, plus 4% productivity, and plus 5% pollution. The pollution doesn't matter, but. Yeah, it's like you have to... This is a one-to-one -one offset with a level two efficiency module. You put one of these in, and, and you put a efficiency module in, and then you're, you're at parity for the amount of energy uh, consumed there. But you do have to deal with the slower speed. If you, if you were to try to compensate for the speed, a level one speed module would add another 50% energy consumption. This gets offset by a level 3 uh, efficiency module. I am pretty sure I think the level 3 efficiency is 50 or more. Level 3 is, uh, yeah, exactly 50. You gain, you gain an extra 10 whole percent on the level 3 efficiency module. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, oh, right, so yeah, that uses production tech cards, the, uh, the purple science. And it's blue circuits as well as red to get into level three. I am okay with the circuit requirements here to get into all of my modules, but it's not going to be that great of a boost until we get into like 10% productivity range uh, at module threes. And yes, as has been pointed out, I do realize that the there is a singularity beacon. Uh, so if I have a look at this singularity beacon, it uh, apparently has a larger percentage of the transmission rate. So it's in a regular beacon, in a vanilla beacon, you only can transmit half of the values on the modules. So it's essentially like a half module of whatever you put into the beacon that gets transmitted to all of the buildings around it. Uh, so instead of half, I think this one's 75% is what I had been told. Uh, we'll see as we go along. And I don't know how many slots this also has. It's likely a lot more module slots on top of the better transmission rate, which would be glorious. Absolutely glorious. But that's pretty far down in the tech. That is... That is singularity tech cards, which... Yeah, that's the end of the game. That, that's like the, the end of the game there. Speaking of tech, I have had a look at uh, at tech uh, in Hellmod. I I have had a little bit of a gander at uh, uh, at tech uh, in here. So I am, or at least I was, considering building this base to 60 science per second. I've never done this much science before. Built a base capable of this much science before, so. I figured, you know what, let's let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, and, you know, initially it's 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 decent. It, it does scale up, remembering that each one of these lines is just the amount for that specific tech card, so this is all additive to what we would need in the end. All of this does look okay all the way through chemical science. Purple science, the production tech cards... It's a bit heavy. It starts getting a bit heavy on the iron and copper in particular, and really heavy on the petroleum, but still within the realm of possibility. Similarly, once you get into the utility tech cards, we are starting to see greater than a thousand units on a single plate here. Uh, and of 
course, a lot of rare metal type things are going to be needed too. This, the, the, yeah, with this adding to all of the other stuff, it's still within the realms of possibility. Similarly, with this optimization tech card, this is space science. Still with within some degree of reason from scaling up to this point. Uh, and then we get into the matter tech card stuff that starts using raw Immersight. Uh, I would say because Immersight's limited to like singular nodes and you are limited by the game's tick rate on how fast you can mine these things, it could be rather difficult getting this much raw Immersight throughput. Similarly with this next tier adding to it, you need uh, quite a few buildings trying to get into this or you'll have to make it out of matter and note that none of this takes into account productivity all of this will be dramatically reduced due to having level three productivity modules uh everywhere that they can possibly go uh along with beaconing for speed and efficiency uh so all the way up to this advanced tech card it's it's still pretty reasonable it's still pretty reasonable. I'm I'm okay with these numbers. This this looks okay. And then you get into the singularity tech card and holy god. Um So, I think it's pretty fair to say that the singularity tech card uses more resources than every other tech card combined. I think that's a that's a pretty fair estimate. It, it definitely in terms of copper. This stuff is using dirt Thirteen and a half thousand copper plates per second, and eighty-four thousand six hundred petroleum gas. Like, what? The the nitrogen and the hydrogen you can get basically for free out of air, but and the and the mineral water is mined directly. But holy God, that's a lot of iron and copper, and it's a lot of wood but at least that's just building count this is a lot of stuff this is a lot of stuff so uh i don't know if i'm going to be doing 60 per second on sciences on this playthrough anyway with enough talk about that we've now spent 12 minutes doing absolutely nothing but talking about what i've already done uh, and some research i've done on how much stuff will get used. And note that all of that is worst case scenario, just to reiterate. This is worst case scenario using no productivity and not having the singularity beacons. Of course, I would be having the singularity beacons and using as much productivity as I possibly can and getting as much speed out of it and all all of that stuff. All of that stuff. The goal today is to get into uh, some advanced circuits. Uh, so we've got red circuits on the agenda. I don't know why this doesn't auto-assign to me. I need to modify that setting. Blah. Do do that. This will be plastic. I need plastic. That is that is step one. Step one is plastic. Uh, step two uh, is getting into silicon. That's step two, and then step three is to get electronic components before we can get into red circuits. And then once we get into red circuits, I also need sulfuric acid before I can get into chemical tech cards. Uh... Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other things I could do once I get into chemical tech cards, etc., etc. So I have petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is all I need for getting into plastic, uh, because I have coal and I have the wonderful, beautiful petroleum gas to work with. So let's go take care of that. I have brought with me a whole bunch of chem plants to do this process, and yeah, it's it's uh, it's a little obscene how much space all of this train station uses for what we're going to build you know sort of like i built this much infrastructure with that much trains it's like the, the the train station uses more space than the actual build but oh well 
oh well. Uh, this is going to be making plastic for me. Now, I do also want to have areas that are going to make me things like the batteries, the solid fuel, uh, the, of course, the sulfuric acid and the sulfur. Sulfur doesn't really get used for anything other than sulfuric acid, so I'm not going to have that separate, but you get the point. Yeah, get the point. So how much of this do I really want? Wow, that makes a lot. Wow. Uh, so I have... 30? The heck? Oh, I was, I was looking at something completely different here. Uh, petroleum gas. Let, let's have a look at that. So I've got 30 factories doing this. I have 270 petroleum gas per second up to. So I can get not quite a red belt out of that, but I can at least get the yellow uh, equivalent. So eight can plants twice this. God, I did I did not realize that this would be such a small build in here. It's like, oh, do I do I even do I even bother just having this one thing here? It's it's best practice to have one thing at one location. I know that I have stone bricks up here piggybacking basically with glass, but I'd rather that be the exception than the rule. So I will bring this over. Just like so. Excuse me, get the correct direction there. Uh, that is a little bit too much throughput, I think for a regular blue inserter. So I will use loaders here to unload, and it will actually give me the full 16 per second, even though the one lane is dedicated to uh, 15 max. It'll give me the 15 max, and then this is going to give me that extra one on the outside lane. Which, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be good. Uh, so I need... A identical setup to this placed here with the exception that these are going to all be reversed just like so and I need wires connecting up like so on all of that this will be our petroleum gas at plastic one. This is going to be our coal at plastic one. I do need the line of coal being brought in. How much coal? One per building. Okay, good to know. Uh, da 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 da, and da da da. I hear kitten. I hear a kitten. At somewhere behind me. There we go. That is that. Uh, so this is going to be 8 per second. Good to know. 2 to 1 ratio on how much you use there. And that should pretty much be that. Just got to request the coal. And we are off to the races, I suppose. Let's get the petroleum gas in, get the pipe brought over. And there we go. We are now pretty much just done 
with this. Have to add that. Stuffs. Put in some fuel. However much fuel. I'm not carrying much fuel right now. Uh. Coal. Coal drain. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, I, I missed a signal. I missed a signal because it was hidden behind the big electric pole. Oops. Uh, whoops. Come on, coal. There we are. Hello, coal. Okay. Plastic. Uh, request. Only, right, I need to change the names of these. So this is S Plastic 1. Uh, just like this guy is the depot for Plastic 1. Plastic. Supply to demand or to depot. Full cargo and circuit condition. Auto magic. This is all auto magic. Completely and utterly magical. And that's plastic. That's plastic finished. Next on the agenda. Just tick that off. I will need silicon to get into electric components. The issue with silicon is that it does also get used for solar panels. But silicon is made essentially just out of sand and water. And the quartz also gets used for stuff. So what I'm thinking is... In the areas that I need the heat pipes slash laser turrets, I don't think they get used for anything in particular that I need, but definitely heat pipes. Uh, in the areas where I'll need the quartz and where I'll need the silicon for things other than electronic components, such as a mall being fed by trains, I am just going to make silicon out of stone locally that is what i think i will do so this is really in this area going to be an electronic circuit or electronic circuit electronic parts build uh so electronic parts these guys in this recipe they get used for quite, or electronic components, excuse me, they get used for quite a few things that'll be used in the mall. They get, they do get used in the level one modules, as we can see right here. But they are, of course, used in red circuits, which is generally what we'll be using them for. They also get used in military science directly, so there is a good reason for me to have these provided as is on the train network and speaking of provided as is on the train network plastic needs to be added to this list of supplies yay we did it we've we've got a scroll bar now on the various items note that the only things that are new here the only thing different between this supply source priority between crastorio and vanilla is glass glass is the only new resource in crastorio 2 of everything that i have on this list like every everything else is pretty much vanilla there's a new sort of icon i think for light oil i'm not used that that's a redone icon but yeah, gla glass is the only thing new thus far. Everything else, pretty much the same. So, next. Our next door neighbor is going to be making electronic components. Um, I had planned this, I think, to actually be sulfuric acid. Sulfuric 
so the electronic components are going to need a three station uh, a three part input i think i'm going to go over here and do that over there yeah i'll do it i'll do it over there and then i'll do the circuits at the next one i'll just bypass this one for now cuz that's probably just going to be the sulfuric acid uh, speaking of which, I'm going to get in the train to speed up the process of getting there. Just plop down a train with some fuel, and we are good to go going forward. Uh, not sure how much stuff I really want slash need out of this, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I need to hold right. We've arrived! So those four-way intersections manually driving are a little bit crazy just because as you're going on and you make this turn, you can see you can potentially end up manually driving on the wrong on the wrong side of the road, as it were. So you have to hold left to turn and then switch right to go onto the pro to switch over to the proper rail. That's one aspect of this particular blueprint book that I am not as much of a fan of. But, oh well, this foundation uh, blueprints book. But anyway, it's convenient in many other ways, though. So, I'm, I'm using it, and I've dedicated myself to using that particular blueprint book for my rail system overall. All right. Uh, electronic components will also get me into robots, like construction robots and such, at some point once I unlock them uh, at Blue Science. I think they need that for, yeah, the flying robot frames. There you go. And the electric engine units are going to need lubricant. So, yeah, lots of, lots of beautiful, beautiful stuff. I want to get into construction robotics about as quickly as I possibly can, uh, as well as likely I need to get into mill science for the uh, modular armor. Oh, I can actually make the modular armor. Cool. I can do that now. I definitely need to get into it for like the power armor Mark II at the very least, uh, and I think somewhat into there but yeah i need i need to get i need to get this i need to get personal robo ports and all that good stuff to uh have robots build things for me specifically the rails i am very tired of not uh, of hand placing the rails so i need an additional doohickey uh this Pretty sure that is the same spacing. Eight, eight, yep. There we go. Run that down, run that over, over. Wait, what? I, I don't have any! Oh noes! Oh noes, I thought I had bulk rail uh, unloaders on me, but apparently I am... I am out of them. Well, that's a disappointment. And I can't really place that central rail segment very easily, but yeah. And also that goes one more tile. Wow, that is that that's very disappointing. Oh well. Oh, well, I'll build out the rest of this as much as I can, and then we'll be ending off the video, and then I'll turn it all on. Okay, so as I had said, this is going to be the supply of electronic components, uh, as it were, and we need to do our glass at electronic components. We need an R stone at electronic components 
And we need what was what was the last one? Uh plastic. Of course, using using what we've just made. Uh and our plastic at electronic components one. I need to make sure that I have an iterative at the end, a, a number. If I ever if I ever copy plate paste this somewhere else, I want to make sure that the numbers automatically uh, increase their values, uh, and it can do that if I put the number on the end to begin with. It will. Transpy Manager will increase the value to 2 auto magically for me and it will be it will be fantastic. So for the silicon I will of course need some furnaces for that as well as filtration plants. So I need to go back to my mall anyway. So let's take a bit of a hike to pick up some filtration plants as well as some bulk rail unloaders so we can actually build this rather quickly before ending off the video uh none of these are red belts unfortunately so i can't really get that speed boost by walking on top of them i can do it by switching to the iron one though there we go that's the speed boost that i'm looking for uh, okay, and then how much belt am I carrying around? Enough. I have a sufficient amounts. I need you. Uh, how many unloaders do I have? Or loaders, I should say. That's gonna be a heck of a lot better. And filtration plants. I do hope I've made them. Hello, filtration plants. I've I've got them. Now, intended output, let's let's just say five as a value to work with for now, and then I will scale this up. Uh this is going to be those. I should probably default uh that going forward to uh, basically as much as I possibly can. For that particular assembly machine, I'm also going to be using steel furnaces, not stone. So, two, three, seven. I would also need a solid fuel. Right. Right, a solid fuel. So, I can actually have solid fuel getting made on demand by having greenhouses. I don't need to request solid fuel at all. Uh, and that, I think, should definitely give me more than enough. Note that when manually placed, these bulk rail unloaders, if they have the wires on their ghost, do place the wires just fine. Uh, Nanobots mod is a little wonky. It will not do good things. It will not place those for you uh, consistently. It'll leave... I've, I've experienced it leaving out the connection between the two uh, unloaders. Uh, in other series, so definitely things to bear in mind going forward. So I have five point thirty three from these. Oh, I am very low on medium power poles. Let's make more. So, from there, it is... Ah, right, I need to, of course, actually make the sand by crushing. Interesting, that is one to one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So it's two crushers directly into filtration plants. Uh, these will feed and need water. 
So I'll give them the water there. Uh, I see no reason not to just direct load into these filtration plants, giving me quartz. Uh, and then from here, these need to feed into three steel furnaces. That's, uh, just, yeah, not as nice for direct feeding of stuff. So I'm just going to shift stuff down. Uh, I'll have some shared belt here. from the output of the wood. Ooh, five? Yeah, that's a bit much for a single inserter, so this is actually gonna have a whole bunch of inserters. Just, just casually, it's gonna have Tons. Tons and tons and tons of inserters. There. Power. Power! Power to the everything. Uh, and then in the end, this only makes 2.5, so it's it's fine on the output having just the one. There. And then seven assembling machines. As we approach 30. Six and a half, little over six and a half. Making me these electronic components. Uh, so each one is 0.75. There's three items. The glass and plastic are likely going to be sharing a belt. So this silicon coming in will just go like so, and this will go like so. And I will have that arrangement on everything. The glorious reverse fangs. And that just needs some power through wonderful medium power poles as well as outputs. And some logistics work now. Just have to place the belts and everything will be on and going and glorious and magnificent. How much stone in the end? 3.4. Those will need to input. That should work. I am uncertain with these very specific types of uh, stuffs. Just shift that. Uh, the stone is going to come in from all the way up here. Oh, this is our plastic. No, 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 no. You're you're gonna be our stone. Uh, and this this is gonna be our plastic. See how it iterated to one because it matched the thing here. Uh, it went straight up to two. There's that shared belt I was talking about. If I could actually draw a straight line for the life of me, that would be great. There we go, and then this will be the output belt going all the way up. Split. And input. There we go. So, you. Glass. 
I do know that glass comes out of stone too, but I have that as a separate build. This is the plastic whenever the plastic fills up. And then this is, of course, the stone. So whenever the plastic containers fill in here, this could take a little while. Oh boy, plastic. Yeah, it has a uh, rather large stack size on it, doesn't it? But ultimately, that's that. That is electronic components finished. So, it's now been 40 minutes. I need to end things off here. Uh, next time we meet, now that I've done those things, uh, we are going to be setting up red circuits, as well as moving on into sulfuric acid and going into chemical tech cards. In the meantime, off-screen, what I will do outside of wrapping some of this stuff up, scaling up a little bit more on this sort of stuff, is uh, I will be putting the three previous levels of science onto my train network. Uh, I will have separate builds that I will do off screen doing the basic tech cards, automation tech cards, and logistic tech cards and getting them all sorted and ready to go so that when we do, do next meet and get into the next level of tech cards, chemical tech cards, I can have everything being shipped to a centralized location for uh, science labs and do the science that way. I will see you all uh, on that next one. Thank you all for watching. Do all the social stuff, etc., etc.